Dude, I wish I was in your shoes right now. Like, I wish I was about to buy a fucking house and, like, have it and have my own rules and my own people and my own environment, my own setting, and be able to have people over whenever I wanted type yeah. shit, you know? Yeah. Like, not have to worry about, like, noise and stuff. Like, to me, that would be... that. That's such a big goal that I really want to accomplish someday. Yeah, yeah. So it's dope to see you you doing it right now and, like, having a friend that's doing it. And, like, dude, yeah. you, for real, bro, you've been, like, one of my biggest... Uh, maybe influences? Is that the right word? Not influences. You've been someone that I've looked up to and I've been like, bro, like, I want to... Like, I want to do similar things that he's doing. Uh Because you're fucking... Like a role model or inspiration? Inspiration. Uh Inspiration. Okay. Yeah. No, definitely inspiration. That was the word I was looking for. Yeah. Because it's like, dude, you're doing these dope shit. You're securing bags of money. And you're, you're living life to a great extent. And you're in, like, that shit's about to start paying out because you're... You're potentially in the very near future getting a house and then all your shit, all your idea, all your ideas, you're going to start putting into this environment and just like doing your own thing. So mm-hmm. that's to me, dude, that's like sick, dude. That's to me, that's so inspiring. And I, I want to live a life like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, can we talk about your job and like what you do? Yeah. And, like how you're acquiring like money and like yeah. what you do to save money too because you don't buy a bunch of stupid shit yeah i mean i try not to i i wasn't there was a while where i wasn't working or if i was working it was just like very part-time and so i was trying to figure out ways to just survive off a little bit of money you know and i did that for years and it helped me learn what I think is like a, a financial tip, you know, I guess like big money investors and real, or uh, investors and uh, whatever, financial people would say otherwise. But I think one of the biggest things for me is like, the more money you spend, it's like you're taking away from the money you earn. You know, like say you make, Fifteen dollars an hour, you know, and it's under the table, and so you work in a ten-hour day. So at the end of the day, you have one hundred fifty bucks, and you spend fifty bucks on alcohol and weed. You know, it's like that took your fifteen dollars an hour now to ten dollars an hour. So for the whole day, yeah, for that yeah. day. So it's like, oh, today I was making ten dollars an hour instead, and that's just weed and alcohol. Then he's at dinner. That's another twenty five bucks or whatever. You know, it's like it's taking your hourly pay down. And so I kind of learned to think of it that way, like how much am I taking my pay down by the things I'm buying, and minimize that, because everybody's like, oh yeah, I want to make more. I want to make more. I want to make more. Well, for me, it's like I can I could make more by spending less. True. You know? True. So that's kind of kind of how I went at it. It's kind of shitty, though, like playing devil's advocate a little bit because you're fixed on X amount of money that you will get like each day. Uh-huh. And your, <clears throat> your thing is like, okay, like you can make more money just by spending less, which makes sense. But the thing is like, you're not really making more. You're kind of just like saving more. And like with that, how expensive everything is in today's world, it's like, yeah, like you're not buying some of this stuff. Like you're able to save a little bit more. But the thing is, it, it's really hard to get ahead because you're still fixed on this like X amount. Say you're making that much money a day. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's like, I don't really know where I was going with this. But. Well, I guess to that point, it's like, say someone's making 40 an hour, right? Yeah. But they're spending so much that at the end of the day, they really only had that 150 bucks left that, this, that the 15 hour yeah. guy had, right? So, you know, it, whether it's on car insurance, car payments, house payments, kids. you know, kids, whatever, um, whatever is your fancy, you know. You could have a, a highly tailored prescription drug medication, you know, where it costs a lot of money. 
stuff like that. Um, but uh, but yeah, so at the end of the day, that $40 an hour person, he had 400 bucks, right? Because he worked 10 hours that day. Boom, now he's got 150. Now he's in the same space as that $15 an hour guy. They're in the same level. And the $15 an hour guy, he's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna fuck around with any of that shit. I'm gonna walk to work, ride my bike. I'm gonna, you know, like make a tuna sandwich for 250 or something, you know, like, I don't know. It, It's like, you could think of it that way, I guess. Like, uh, the you can minimize the difference between that forty dollar an hour person and the fifteen dollar an hour person. How can I, how can I, you know, have that same amount of money that that person's? Maybe someone would say is blowing. Maybe someone would say he's just living his life. You know, it's yeah. yeah. It's definitely eating out every meal. Some people do it, and it's like, damn, yeah. dog, like, yeah. that's a lot. Of there money. goes a lot of your pay. Yeah. Or even, dude, even lunch seven days a week, which mm-hmm. a lot of people do, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and and everyone spends money on different stuff, you know? It's each their own. But in that phase of my life, I was just trying to just go bare minimum, you know? Like, yeah, I got to eat. Yeah, I got to drink water. Yeah, I got to have a place to lay down at night. You know, yeah. But, but other than that, what do I really need? Oh, I need a bathroom. You know, that's big. Now, when I'm looking at buying land, it's like, okay, where am I gonna take a shit? You know, like yeah. that's a big thing that a lot of people don't think about. Um, or, or maybe they think about it, but I don't know. For me, it kind of fell in the back of my mind, and now it's like really forward in my mind. Um, but uh but yeah it was just a, it was like an experiment it was an experiment for me like okay i'm gonna see the minimalist amount i could do and then that carried on with me so now i still kind of hold pieces of that mentality i can't say that i'm like i used to be because i'm not i spend way more now than i used to but but it still sticks with me you know and so i think that's just one thing I've learned about money. <laughs>